so good evening everyone uh welcome to relax uh yeah i think probably has been a wonderful ride and i'm supposed to wrap up today um uh, something interesting sorry i don't know why this is not it okay well maybe i should connect and connect back to this Pretty sure my network is good enough. Um, let me see, I'm having a piece with. How oh, this is not dangerous. Um. Okay. Let me see. Well, this is coming up. So what we have prepared something. Um. So this is our Power BI. Um. File. So there's. A little document here that we are going to be using for today's session so like today is supposed to be like a demo and post that way of how a power bi project should go so to make work easier for me i've crafted this out from the pizza data sets uh, that we worked on during sq so uh, this thing is not back yet. Sorry, just one second. Let me stop and should I just restart? No, yes, restart. Um, so we have crafted this question out to make work easier. Um, so usually you have been given the data sets and you are asked to, I think, in, in a I've seen our cartoons where uh, they just give them the data sets and ask them, they probably give them a little bit of insight about the data sets and they ask them to do a, a data analysis with it. Um, Power BI, I think there's one I, 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 I think I still have assets to the repository on GitHub. So it was Data Science Nigeria that organized the cartoons. I think, yeah, the cartoon I came to Lagos for, oh, sorry, the bootstamp. I was last, I think in September. So there was a data analysis section. So I can, the data set is pretty large, so I can drop the link. Um, So it could be something you can have to your portfolio if you are able to successfully work on it. Like I said, the data set is large. But, um, so usually you are given the inside data sets and you will be required to generate questions yourself. So here I have a few questions based on data sets so um dear data analyst i hope this message finds you well we have recently collected and compiled a comprehensive data set that encompasses various aspects of our sales operation these data sets include information from four tables branch data daily sales targets sales data and sales targets data all of which are interrelated as we embark on our journey to unlock meaningful insights from our valuable data set to seek your expertise in performing a thorough analysis. Your keen eye for patterns, proficiency in data interpretation and analytical skills will play a pivotal role in unraveling crucial information to enhance our sales strategy and drive performance improvement. So this is like one of the things you should pay attention to here. Now, in light of this, we have prepared a series of questions that encompass different dimensions of the data set below. By answering these questions, we aim to gain a deeper understanding of our branch performance 1, targets achievement 2, sales trend, product insights, and more. Your findings and recommendations will undoubtedly guide us in, in making informed decisions to maximize our sales and our sales potential and viral growth. Thank you for taking on this critical task, and we are eagerly, we eagerly anticipate the valuable insights you would unheard from this data set. So, um, this is addressing the data set analyst that is about to perform analysis analysis on the data, the given data. Um, so let me see. This one will connect back. The connect is ready. Oh, cool. Okay, so um, 
I think I can open that same document here. So we have read, we have gone to the, how do I follow this here? Sorry. Uh, Power BI. Yes. So oh, switch to this tab. Good. Um, got it. No. How much wrong with Sorry, one second. Let me my phone to just stop. Okay, so um, this is what I'm looking for. Good. So this is the question here. If I open it, it should come up here. Yeah? yeah, exactly. So um, these are the questions we are going to be asking. So let's even look at what the data set is. So they are data sets so from the pizza data sets when we were working with excel uh, sorry with sql it we used script to load it but right now we have them in uh, excel formats so i'm going to download this right now so just look here download and it shouldn't take time it should be pretty fast and move to my I should open power bi where is it? Download. Then I extract it. Because it comes in a zip. So, extracts. So, I've extracted it. So, I have it now. So, if you check, there are four, um, four data. So this time around, we're going to be working with four data sets, all connected together. So let me go and open Power BI. Should I open this first? So we are going to start. Well, uh, the process is pretty simple. You load your data first. Uh, connect the data model. See if there's anything you can do to transform and begin your visualization good so our data set is an excel data set so that means we are going to be using the option of importing from the excel so i'm clicking on this so pizza pizza Okay, I think I found that I can't select everything. It's not possible. So we have to do this one by one. Coin. Good. So click on this. Then load it. So I have to first load everything first. Let me see the time. I think I have this time should be enough to complete everything. So, uh, should I click on that? Good, I, uh, I can't remember. Okay, sales targets, sales data. So, I'm assuming uh, I'm not, I really have no much idea about what is going on in this data. It's just an assumption. Uh, and mind you, also, it, you can just, you know, pick a data set and work with it straight up in Power BI. You might not need Excel. So it's possible to do a complete data analysis project without using, with only Power BI. Well, yes, with only Power BI. If there's no much work with the data sets. So I've loaded everything in. Can see branch data there's longitude and latitude here there's manager there's daily targets there's sales data so these are sales data i have two columns um uh, this column i don't need so i should be able to remove this column uh let me see it 
And this is not working. Okay, so I'll find another way to remove it. Then, um, there we have sales targets. So, good now, let me explain what the data set is all about. I think some of us are familiar with it already. So, um, this is a PISA data set. Um, so if you look at it, I think it's a from it's in Lagos. Let's assume it's Domino. Domino is one of the popular data, uh, people with PISA, known for PISA. So, um, okay, Ibadon, Ikoyi, Leki, Bagada, and Suriri. Can see this is their longest and latest information. Can use this for this map. Uh, then this is the manager in charge. Now they have uh, daily targets that they are supposed to meet. So from Thursday, December 3rd to Tuesday, December 15th, that's what this data covers. And for each day, there's a target that has been set. So as you can see, that's what we have here. So that was the daily target um, table. Now, in the sales data, Oh, sorry, let me go to sales target. Now, in the sales target, also we have a target that has been set based on the type of pizza. That's why you're saying BBQ, barbecue chicken, barbecue Philly stick. So, this is like the sales, the targets that have been set across uh, this particular data set. So, for the 13 days, actually, I know it's 13 is from 3 to 15 that's 3 minus 15 that's 13 so for this 13 right no that's 12 yes 12 including the first one is 13 so for these 13 days and um, this is the sales targets that have been set for each pizza then in the sales data now we have dates right we have the dates in daily targets that's the same date that is here we have branch we have the pizza sold as a type of pizza. We have the price, we have the quantity, we have the time, and we have the time range like is it before 9 a.m., is it after 9 a.m., something like that. So I think all of this is just between before and after. So, uh, we could even do something like that. That way, we could know maybe our sales, we have more sales in the morning before 9 or after 9. So, after 9 is like the rest of the day. So um, look after that. Yes. So that's all the data sets that we have, right? Now let's go to our data model. So uh, as usual, probably I start to connect these things together. All right. What to help us? Okay. Before then, let me remove these two columns. So I'm going to. I'm going to take this data, transform data, take it into Power Query, sales data, because I want to remove it, I want to delete it. So click here, click here, delete. So I just shift, uh, select both of them and hit the delete button. You could use this too. So, um, so you can see there's no error here. This is probably our um, serial number. This is the date. You can see the calendar. The branch is in text. Pizza so is in text. We're not seeing any regularities. Um, three distinct. This is price, of course. And we have three categories also. We have quantity also and we have time so there's no issues here checking the branch data to um, five distinct five unique is uh, pretty much simple so it's practically a clean data set you can see the day two uh no errors nothing nothing so oh, i'm sure you know where all of this is coming from i'm able to see this from view show quality and column distribution so then sales targets to no issue here 16 dictates 16 unique good so we can now you know move back to our data itself 
close and apply all okay okay yeah let's just do that although i want to do something first because in this sales data um we have price and we have quantity so the only way to know the price the total sales right the cost um the sales that this made is to multiply price by quantity so we can you know create a new column based on that it just comes to add column um custom column so what is the name of this column um let's say what do i name it what do i name it uh sales total sales sales price okay let me see sales price sales price good so what is what are the things i'm bringing together i'm bringing um let me see again the price and the quantity together so i'll just type price so it will help me bring it together and say price times um uh, quantity is in quantity and okay good so you can see now although i'm having abc one two three so what i'm just going to do is i'll convert this transform to sorry change type to numbers I think it's a whole number good so we have this now so i can you know say i'm done close and apply good so i have this now so i can now go back to my data model and try to connect this together so um sales targets so i have this all of this try and bring them together now i'm not sure of this whether it's correct or not correct well it looks like it's correct but nevertheless i'm still going to delete it anyways because it just it just assumes that they are the same of course they are the same but you need to clear the outs so how can we connect this to this so pizza here is the name of the pizza and it's also the same to make pizza sold here so um this is going to be connected to this sorry pizza sold good so the connection is made um then what connection do we have here? Branch, obviously. Branch. And what connection do we have here? Is D. So the D here is also the same with D here. So connect this together. And they are all connected. But I need to change something, which is the uh the cross flitter. I need to change it to both. Same with this. Good. So I have everything connected together. So I can safely say I'm done with my data modeling. Now, um, I still am not done because um, if you go back to the question here, so um. Uh, what are they asking for how does sales performance vary across different branches okay uh, which branch has the highest sales which one has the lowest sales what are the top selling products uh, how will the managers perform in meeting their targets overall sales what else um, can you identify any correlation between daily sales targets and actual sales targets 
Now, based on the analysis, what's actionable? Okay, this is more like the last part. Now, um, I would need to create some measures, like more of like the total sales, um, total target sales, total target visa sales, uh, more of like basic informations about the whole data set. So I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to create another table here. So these are tables. So to do that, just we'll enter data and all these all measures. Load it. It gets created down up here. So I can open this now. Click on it, then create all measure. Oh, sorry, new measure. So the first measure I want to do is I want to calculate all the total uh, the sum of the you can start from sales price. So the total sales we have on the data, like the total sales that was made. So we want to sum everything in this sales data. Sorry. In this sales data here. This sales price wants to sum everything into a single value. So to do that, come back to measure, new measure. So I call it total sales. And then say total sales. Yeah, total sales you know. Then sum of what? Sum of sales price. enter close the brackets and enter so that has been created as total sales so all the sum is out there good so we can also do the same thing to um we can do the same thing to quantity all right once you know the total quantity that was actually sold so come back here new measure Total quantity. Sum of um, quantity. Enter. Then enter. So that also gets done automatically. Then I also want to know. Okay, good. So there's daily targets here. So I can sum the daily targets together. So to do that, I uh, would do sum of daily targets in all measures here. So that would be total daily targets. And that will be some, some of um, daily targets, daily targets, targets, and enter. Okay, so I think I have that. Now, I also have pizza targets. There's, don't forget, there's also uh, something for the pizza targets. So I can also do the sum of these sales targets for the pizza so that will be called um total pizza targets let's put that way and so sum of pizza I think it's target something targets. Uh, I remember again sales targets. Yes, this last one. Close it. Enter. Okay, good. So I think I have enough measures. Yes. Yeah, so this data is across how many days? Uh, when we check here, daily targets. 
we need our cross 13 so we can do a measure for that so that we just create a card so all these measures they are going to be on a card on a card view uh number of this number of this so now to do that i'll have to use i can use distant count distant count on uh on let me see on the daily targets for day So it's two ways. I could use the distant count on the daily target for D, or I could use it on the sales data. So it's actually it's the same thing. So whichever method works. So I think we are ready to now go into the visualization now. So um, now I think I've prepared a few things. So let's start. So the first thing I want to do is, uh, let me see, I think these ones are easy to do. So the number of days, I can just put cards. Sorry. Uh, where is it again? I think it's... Wait to I suddenly can't remember where it is. Sorry. Yes, this is it. No, this is it, yeah, card. So you can see now, we have 13. That means data sets, um, number of days, 13. So all these ones, I can just, you know, create card for them. So you can see now, total daily target was 48 million. Uh, if I click on the card and select total pizza daily targets, this is the total pizza targets. So you can see that the daily target is even more than the pizza targets. Uh, create another card. Total quantity. Something like that. Then I think the last one will be for the total sales. Total sales. Good. So you can see that we have 47 million in total sales. That was made. Uh, in terms of the daily target looks like they didn't meet this but in terms of the pizza targets it was met so we'll find a way to display that so if i go back to the question now um how does the sales performance vary across the various branches over a given period so we need to do something with branches right so how do we do that so um select your branch So I have it here. Then I need the <coughs> sorry. Uh, so I need um. Let me see. Show total sales. Okay, I think this would do. So I can use the measure here, or I could use uh the sales price here it's still going to be the same thing sorry um let me make this bigger um size uh, okay good so now if you look at this now use it okay i think i can even check this here too okay good so you can see that they are actually the same thing so using the cards this measure total sales probably i try to split it and you know put each one in its place that splits this total sales and assign you know it already knows where it's coming from or you could just use sales price so whichever one it works well i think i'll prefer to use the total sales it has simple words and i use a column stack chart so you can see straight up this turns straight into the branch data so you can see ikoi bagada 
Ibadan Leki Sulere. Or you could decide to use any charts. So whichever one, they both pass the message across. So you can see from here that Ikoyi has the top. Ah, Zikoyi 983 978. So it's actually Ikoyi. So after Ikoyi Bagada, then Ibadon, then Leki, then Sulere. So if you go back to this um question, so how does sales performance vary? across different branches over the given period so you can see how they vary oh okay so something is here so it says over the given period so uh like i think we've answered the question of which branch has the highest sales and which one has the lowest sales in the data but we want to see how we actually vary across um the timeline so how the branches perform across this particular timeline so to do that i think we we'll need to add dates to this visualization so um why do i have two time oh okay i think time is my actual time um Hold on. So I want to unselect some things. I don't need everything. So I just need the dates. So I've slipped deep down here. And uncheck here. Uncheck quarter. Uncheck more. Okay. So. Let me see, let me convert this back to a table. So D31, 31, 31, 31, 31, what's going on? Uh, is everything one day? No, that's not possible. Let me, go, let me check the table. So everything is across different days. There's no even 31 here. And that's on dates. Okay, I can just rather than do that. So let me see. Let me check this. Uh, then I'll go and check the instead dates here. Good. That's what I want. good so this is what i wanted actually then i cannot change this to let me see uh, not this uh, something like this this is so new for the branch um so i cannot check the branch instead in this data pick this Sorry, hold on. Let me go back to the table. Oh, so I have to change this. So let me see. Hmm. What we want is okay. Let me go back to let me go and pick. Let me first set to this one of total sales. So let me touch this. So let's assume this is one all right so let me just leave this um that should answer one question then um i think i'll come back to this let me see what are the top selling products items in the data sets so the top selling products in the data sets so i'll need the products so um sales data products as pizza salt and top selling that's total sales right so top selling how do you rate top selling is it by the sales or by the quantity because I understand that some pizza can be more expensive than the other so i guess it should be by sales so total sales 
so we can have this but we're only interested in the top but we don't need everything right so i can filter this for maybe top five um is also oops. um basic filtering so i'll do top n so top n is like top what so i want the top five according to what according to sales and apply the filter good so this has reduced so i can change it to a visualization now Okay, so let me increase it. I guess I'll need to increase the text as on the y axis. Okay, so you can see it now. Okay, I think I should increase the text of this too. As y axis also. So uh you can see that we have hot pepperoni as the most selling um pizza here. Of course this pizza is exhausted, right? And I'm not done. So I can just go to the next page and you know continue my analysis here. Then think come on. uh network okay so oh network has gone so do you have any questions uh screen has gone this is temporal i believe Uh, okay, I don't know what's going on. I think my network suddenly went down. Uh, not now. Okay, let me see if. if from my hands I look like it's not totally but okay I think I'll have to reset my network so just give me a few minutes Yeah, uh, looks like the network is still not stable enough. Ah, uh, this is scary.
I've just switched to another network just because I felt like this is better. Let me see. Like it's not getting any better. Um, maybe I should try. I just connected. Okay, looks like I'm back. Well, this one is a bit very much slower. Uh, okay, I hope we get the job done. So, how well did the managers? Oh my, okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, let me go back to the question. Okay, good. So, where was I? So, I think I've picked this. What are the top? selling products now how well did the managers perform in meeting their sales targets so how well did each manager perform in meeting uh the overall sales targets so uh hmm. that sounds weak because i do remember a section where each manager targets right um so i think what we can do here is um let me connect the branch and um i think oh okay i think i know what to do with that so we could do something like more of like a gauge so first of all we oh my god what did i just do I'll just say yeah okay good so we are going to have more of something like a slicer um so a slicer will contain each manager so i can have their manager here so each manager will be here then we are going to have a gauge for the daily target so um where's gauge so here is gauge so in the gauge we are going to put um the um let me see the total daily target or rather i think total sales instead so let's move this up here it should not be daily target it should be total sales good the the target value is now so we want to see if this was met if um uh, they met the total targets you no know? so i supposed to drive this to target value good so you can see this blue um i think it's blue tick line anyways so since this did not cross it so that's like the targets so since they didn't meet it, you can easily tell that oh they didn't meet it for this. And if you change this branch, so you can see that it automatically just adjusts. Then you could also do for pizza. So we have another gauge. Come on, gauge. Um so on that gauge we are going to have also the total sales. But what we are trying to now check here is pizza target value if it was met
so you can see that easily with this now you can see that this was actually met easily right so that's one so i think we have not answered all the questions finished now can you identify any correlation um okay how did the overall sales performance compared to the sell sales targets okay i think we have seen that too then can you identify any correlation between daily sales targets and actual sales achieved so we need to that's more like a correlation so um we could do more of like a timeline so we could pick date maybe okay so we could have date then we could have total daily target and we could have uh let's say total sales let me see okay something like this then if you change this to the line chart now look at what we get i guess to get something like this normally i could change this to a clustered bar chart saying that for this day this is the delta delay so this way you can easily know also which day was met so on this day the day meets on this day the day meets the targets so you can see this where you have the, delta, the total daily target higher that's the one in lighter blue uh, if it's higher that means the day meets but an easier way to do that is just line charts so where um this was higher it means that the limits where it came down here that means they met the sales here for this day they didn't meet it for this day uh close well this day they did not meet it until this day here so you can see here was the crossing point and they met it all through so this you can easily know compared to uh this this is still okay this will be wrong you wouldn't really see much here yeah. but this is still okay but i'll prefer to use this so um let me go back i think i should be rounding up now so i can start visualizing um start bringing everything together so um can you identify the correlation okay i think that's called the correlation how does the overall sales performance compare to the set sales targets i think we can see that already so let's try to bring everything together now right so we have a few things so we'll try to create the new sheets and bring all the design into it then customize it so first of all i'm going to be starting with the cards so i'm going to be selecting everything uh, i think shift select it shift select copy page three ctrl v to paste right um okay now i have to make it smaller since it's just cards good so small cards like this right then this two small cards also okay this one is small cards and this one two small cards Okay, I don't want the bottom part to get off. Okay, good. So we can now go ahead to 
uh, arranged them. Okay, then I want to color this. So general um, properties. Let me see. Where do I put the color effects? Okay, what color should I use this time around? Let me use something. Ah, this is too thick. So FX will give you different arms. No, I think if I select this, yes, more colors. So I can choose what I want here. I want something fade Yeah, something like this. Uh, actually, let me use blue. Uh, light blue. Okay, good. Then, what else I want to do? Shh, visual board, I like rounded. Rounded makes it, I don't know. It yeah, has this effect. Then, it's 26. Okay, I should go to finish up. Okay. So with this, I think the rounded borders is gone. So the effects are sticking out. So one thing I can do is um general I want let me see a lot value I think is is it this okay I'm just going to leave it at ten this move like the type the parts that takes time the most so copy this format painter paints this one Format Painter paint this guy. Format Painter. So you're just going to copy what I have in the first one and apply it to the rest. So I can have this here. I don't know. I'm just arranging this in here. There's no particular order. So now let me go and bring the rest. Uh, page one. Um, these two. So I'll just shift select. That's faster. Sorry. Shift select. Copy. And paste it in the third place. <clears throat> okay, so I have to make this smaller actually. Same with this because space is a constraint. So format painter, format painter. I can see how fast is it. Is it? Oh. Um. Uh, okay. Okay. Good. Then we have some other visualizations. I think I'm done with the page one. Then let me go to page two. So I have one, two, three. Okay, let me bring this in. Then paste it. Um, make it smaller.
uh, the network has okay. Uh, come on, okay, good. So let me format Pentaf first. Oh no. Oh, I'm supposed to click this. Click on format printer. Then click on this. And that works. So I'm thinking, how should I arrange this? Uh, okay, let me see. I can place it here. I still have two things coming. So I guess I'll have to place it here. Then I'll try to. Keep making this mistake. Okay, it's okay to leave a space. Okay, something like that. Then, okay, make it even. Okay, then I can go ahead and bring the menu. Um, uh, this this copy paste. Okay, good. So I can select this and put it here. Post now is no longer even. <laughs> Let me format the printer. Okay. So this one, I'll have to resize it. Size this to then make this a bit bigger. Then this one too. Let's make it aligned. Okay. I still have one more for uh let me see let me see okay I still have not done two things one the title of this let me bring this one to yeah also your flitter uh I think you can apply a flitter on all the across pages sync what Put this on check this. So I'm going to change this to a tile. Actually, I could decide to use it as a table. Bring this down here. Then I could bring this here. Not like I like it, so let's just do it there. So I can format this format painter. Okay, so um, then I can now put the title here and text box so what will be in the text box uh, see uh, pizza 
reports uh, make it bigger be like 20 make it in the middle it's like 20 is more uh, done. okay then let's change the position of this it's covering something Uh, then so I want to color this right so properties okay hold on I think I can do the same thing I did and just click on this bolding it so this is more of like a um let me see yes so i cannot decide to maybe we adjust this one to bit You feel like some of them are not evenly shaped. Well, just forgive me about that. So this is more of a simple report, right? Of so the data of the PISA report. So um, I can easily filter by this. I can see that uh, ECOE is currently topping. Um, do this data covered thirteen number thirteen days? The total data is forty-eight point forty-one million. Um, total PISA target is forty-five million. Total quantity is fifteen k. That's over fifteen thousand products sold. Then in total sales, forty-seven million was made. So something like this. Um. I don't have the best of visuals, but just trying to make this so uh with our slicer we can you know change this so we could see how this varies across different managers. So for this guy now, you know that uh he wasn't lucky. And in this branch, this suits the most, right? And if you look at this, yeah, it was he able to meet the targets at all? It doesn't look like he was able to meet. Um, look at this. I don't even think any of them was able to meet, but I think somehow combined together, they were able to meet it. So, um, this is my own PISA reports data analysis so from this now i can tell that uh per pepperoni fees looks like the most selling right across all branches so what do i advise probably they should focus more on this um then also i could see the least selling products right to see the least selling um on this i have to apply a filter for top five so i could do top bottom so to see the list um selling then um i could also filter across each, each branch also preparing feast was selling in lekki that's a good one it's still the top in ibado um in surulere chicken suya they like chicken suya the most for so auto perennial fees is still top five, so it's still something they could focus on. At Bagada, check it here too. Then at um, Ikoi, you can see uh, what he currently have there. 
to pepperoni fish so you can see how the data varies and yeah so this is more like a simple power bi report sorry so this is more like a simple power bi report on uh pizza data sets that we currently have so uh with this you going from um you know beginning getting your data sets transforming it doing the modeling um whatever measures you need to create uh, transform maybe you need some additional data i um, think you can all do this now so i just have to do this as a simple demo just to show how uh, what the power bi project looks like from start to finish so um yeah so that's pretty really it uh do we have any questions um abdurashid to uh okay kick to know you again i guess network to ayobami i know you came a bit later so i think i can add the canvas color to this i can change the background itself so what is that color i'm using Yeah, so this looks talk more like it. So this is just something simple. So um Tito um Abdrashid um any question? No question. Okay, so um next steps from here is probably should get your you know go to cargo get the data sets and try to you know come up with a business question something something around uh something that can you know drive your insights then you can go ahead to try and play with whatever you whatever is available whatever information is available you can play with whatever visualization you want to play with um i would love to see our reports right so i'll probably be creating another google form so that everybody can just submit something so i just want everybody to do some of course there's still going to be a follow of this we are going to do a project maybe depending something quick after python so just something we can put on our portfolios and um, increase our confidence level <laughs> very important so um, if there will not be any questions i guess uh, we can end our class on power bi and of course yes we would need to fix a new time because it looks like everybody has gotten busy and these times are, are not are no longer convenient Fridays, even the Wednesday classes, so we need to fix a new time. So it'll be still fine. We'll probably just agree on the page and the WhatsApp group. And yeah, I think that'll be it for today.